Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion, bringing you guys another live video. You guys, we're going to go over this Twitter tournament that we had going on. So this was a Twitter tournament, and this is finals, you guys. This is a huge game. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, like, come on, man, a Twitter tournament, really? That's nowhere to get you to become a pro or anything like that. But you got to start somewhere, you know? You got to find a team, and then when you find your team, maybe do ranks play, then move to Twitter, then GB, and stuff like that. You just got to you gotta start somewhere and then finish somewhere, you know? It's it's not like you can just straight jump into going to UMG California and stuff like that. But we're going to watch this gameplay, and we're going to watch it together, go over a few things, go over what my team needs to work on. We're just going to pretty much watch this video and break it down, how it ends up going. Um, because at first, they just started wrecking my team man like we had nothing we could do against these kids they were just they were just annihilating us it's sad enough but that's what that's what was going on but yeah let's get into it. all right we won the first round so that's good it's a good thing to always win first round man i mean it gets your team confident thinking that yo we we can do this but i ended up only getting one kill i believe i think we all got to kill that round so of course my objective is to push through fire and then sit right here and wait i always do that i feel like riot I'm so dominant on this map because I, I, I use the same technique over and over again, but it works. I was just waiting there. Oh, I lost that gunfight. I shouldn't have lost that gunfight. It was I, He might have been. Actually, I think we hosted this map too, so that's a bad thing. That's my teammate. He gave the call out that he was middle. Good thing he didn't challenge. A lot of people would have tried challenging, thinking that they have a better shot. He lost that gunfight. That was just a bad gunfight. So it's a 1v3 it looks like. Yeah, he ended up losing that. We ended up getting raped that round. I, I'm, this this gameplay was probably three days ago, so I don't really remember. We're, we're all watching this together, breaking breaking down what, what happened and what we need to do to work to get better as a team. Um, now, Genesis, CG, and Exotic Squid isn't my team, especially Genesis, CG. He was just a sub, and honestly, I don't... <laughs> I don't really like that guy, so if you guys want to go ahead and send me messages or tweets, go ahead. Feel free, do whatever you guys want. But yeah, Squid, we're, me and Squid do tournaments a lot on Twitter, just working together. I just pretty much, just trying to practice to get better. Now I'm deciding, you know what, I'm going to watch middle. Since he's pushing fire, I'm just going to keep watching middle over here. I got someone at B, so I can't. they can't come through B-Hall. But he gave me the call out that one push day, one push day, so that's why I turned around and decided to kill him. I took too long on that shot. What I was trying to do is I was trying to focus and make sure I had a good shot before I started shooting. I mean, that is a good thing because you don't want to blow your cover. But when you wait too long like that, I could have at least killed one of them. Now he's stuck, squid stuck doing a 1v2 against these kids. I should have killed him a lot quicker and then just moved on. And even if I killed him and then the other guy killed me, it would have been a 1v1. Nothing you can do there. That kid had it watched. If you want to push through fire, don't... I, I guess... He shouldn't have ran through it so quick like that. Because if you know he's planting bomb, you got to sneak your way. Because you know someone's going to be watching something. Especially when there's two of them. It's not like they're both going to be laying on bomb. If it's a 1v1, it's a different story. For sure. It's a little longer video, too. It's a 19-minute video, you guys. So sit back. I mean, I got a pillow behind me, man. I'm chilling. I'm relaxed. I'm ready to just break this video down. My favorite spot. I'm gonna every time I'm gonna go to this spot until I kill somebody there. When I kill somebody there, their whole team's gonna know that spot. So you can't go there. So it's a one v two now. It looks like. So I gotta go big for my team if I wanna win this round. We're down the map. I saw his kid. I was trying to stun him and then I was gonna rush him right after I stunned him. But there was two of them. There was. It was a bad play on my part. I shouldn't have rushed him like that, knowing that there's two. I was hoping that I could win that gunfight and then move on, but the other kid was there top third, if you guys can see. He didn't even end up killing me, but he probably put bullets into me. See, that's bullshit, man. That stun didn't even... Like, that stun... That was a good play on his part. Stun didn't even affect him, man. Bullshit. <laughs> but it's whatever, man. Let's see what else we can do as a team. All right, we're on defense. I'm doing the same thing I always been doing, going middle and just watching middle. Make sure none of them come through middle. If they come through middle, I'll give the call out or or I'll try and get the pick. First you try the pick, then you give the call out. Or you do it at the same time. It really depends on your coordination skill. Because if, if you can't talk and play at the same time, it's kind of hard to call out while you're trying to shoot them. A lot of people will focus up on the kill and then give the call out if they die or if they... If they're like reloading and running away. 
So they took Squid out because Squid decided to flank big time, but they're watching the flank. So these kids were playing smart, man. I mean, this is finals. These kids aren't going to be no scrubs. I took one down, so now it's a 1v2, I believe. Me against, yeah, 1v2. Me against two other people. And now the objective is... Bombs planted, man. This is this is a tough situation. Bombs planted. There's two of them alive. Uh, playing kids this good, it's kind of hard. I didn't want to push through fire because if that kid was sitting up top uh, AC unit, he would have fucked me up. Or top green. A lot of you guys call it top green. So I'm just going to go this way. I think I ended up dying. I didn't end up clutching. Check top green. Didn't see anyone. 12 seconds left, I knew I was over. I had to just do something. So I just jumped on bomb. I saw him, but he, he got the snipe off. It, I mean, these kids, look at that, dude. They were just spanking us the first few rounds. But I tell you guys what. Keep watching, man. Keep watching. You guys are going to be surprised. Because your boy Motion knew he had to turn the fuck up. 1-4. We're down, man. We're losing. We're losing. So... All of us right now, mentally, we were all broken down. Like, damn, these kids are good. They're just beating us. We got to find something to beat these kids with. So I decided, you know, no more fire. I'm going to push all the way through and kill that kid that keeps picking my team off with first blood. Get that kid that's back here killing my team first blood. I didn't see anyone, so I was like, wait, what the hell? Where are they? So I'm just going to stay around this area because, I mean, I want to defend this area. My team was getting shot at. I decided to get the fuck out of there. And then I was like, all right, I can help him out right here. There we go. That's one kill. It's a two. Okay. Fucks me up. Fucks me up badly. Um, Right there, I was thinking, kill this kid, get out of there. My teammate pushed all the way back to their spawn, thinking that no one would be back there. But they had a kid all the way back there just camping. Nothing you could do, and this kid knew exactly where I was because he's a good player. I mean, when you're playing good people like that, they're not going to just kill you and run and hide. They're going to kill you and know where exactly where you were because you shot your gun and killed your teammate. They give call-outs. So right here, 5-1, dude. We're down, dude. We got to come back five rounds in a row. Just come back and spank these kids that are just spanking us. Like, that's something hard to do, man. So you know what? What did I do? I said, turn the fuck up time, you know? Shoot this. Watch it be as always. My, my role is to watch, or not be, watch middle. Middle building, middle hall. I'm watching it as always, and I get a call out that people are rushing over at a side so i'm over here checking the back of our spawn making sure none of them went all the way to the back to try and see if they could pick any of us off and now i'm just sound whoring. just trying to see if i can listen for anything i was thinking what angle can i be at so i can see a lot of the places i decided to stay at this angle so i could see down there and i could see that hall to the left up there i was just focusing Staying quiet, and I heard this kid jump, so I ended up picking him off, saving my teammate's life. It's a 3v2. That's good. Good things are happening right now. We got hopes. We're like, yo, 3v2. We just got to focus on staying alive. That kid got fucked up, and I was like, all right, there we go. 3v1, man. There's no way we can lose this round. I thought I heard him jump in behind me, but I guess he wasn't directly behind me. I don't remember where he was, to be honest. Three v one though. I, I knew we couldn't lose. If we stay together, there was no way this kid could kill us all unless we all like hugged each other's nutsack. Plan to be bomb, and Genesis got the kill. So there you had it, man. That was a good round. Um, it's all about staying up as a team, man. You don't want to, you don't want to sit there and challenge things, you know? Because if you challenge it and you lose it. Your teammates are fucked, especially in a 3v3 tournament. Because if it's a 4v4, it's a little bit easier to play. But when it's a 3v3 and you're playing off picks with two people left, it's, it's, it's really hard to clutch it out, even though there's only two and they have one man above you. It's hard to explain, but it, you guys know what I mean, man. For those of you guys that do Twitter tournaments, it's hard. Same plan, trying to push all the way in their spawn and see if I could pick off that guy that keeps spawn sniping our people. I saw I saw the hit, shots being shot in the middle building like that, the middle hall. So I decided, you know what, let me check it. I didn't see anyone. I see mini map. I'm seeing someone shooting, and I just saw this kid. And I, my goal is after I kill him, get the fuck, because I have no callouts. I I don't know where the other team is, so it's very confusing. It's a 2v2 right now. Now, he's all the way in their spawn. We got a plant. So, bombs dropped. He's in their spawn. I'm in... Or, he's in our spawn. I'm in their spawn. He gets picked off. So, I'm like, fuck, man. A 1v2. I got to pick up bomb. They're probably defending it. And he was like, yeah, they're defending it. So, I was like, you know what? He's probably behind this ledge. 
And no, he wasn't there. And then boom, there he was. Last second I saw him there. I just decided to go through there so that way I can hear the buzzer go off so they think I went that way. And I turned around and hit feet. Luckily I saw this kid move. Picked him off. Knew that kid was going to be back there. Challenged him. There was nothing else I could do. I was like, you know what, I got to challenge him. Or I could go around and flank. And maybe he might not be there. But I decided to challenge him. Won that gunfight. That was nice. It was a close one, man. That little head. That little ass head he had sticking up. I was able to hit it, man. It's hard. It's hard to hit that head glitch. It's definitely a lot harder. All right. So we're hyped up, man. We're, we're like, yo, we just came back two rounds. We can come back two more rounds to get make it 5-5. Five, five, tie it up. We could do this, man. We only need two more rounds to tie it up. And then from there, we can see what we can do. This is a new strat. I came through fire and decided to call it out that he pushed A. Squid got the kill from A. The call that I gave him, he ended up getting the kill. He was getting shot at. I told him, don't challenge, Squid. Don't challenge. We need people right now. So if we could stay up. I saw my Osiris kid back here, so I decided to come over here and help him a little bit. Nah, I didn't see anyone, so I'm trying to help Squid out. I gave the call out that he's up top, top third. Squid knows it. Squid's sitting there with me, helping me out. I mean, we're playing smart right now. Squid's rushing, though. See, Squid's rushing right here, and it's it's kind of scaring me because it's like, Squid, don't challenge. But if Squid's going to challenge, you know, I'm not going to sit there and tell him, don't challenge, don't challenge. If he wants to be hard-headed and not listen, I'm not saying he's hard-headed because he, he didn't challenge. But if he, if he wanted to be hard-headed and didn't listen and challenged, I would have had a challenge with him. Squid got the two kills, clutched it out. I think he got an ace that round, three kills. Good job, Squid. Um... Now we're definitely sitting there like, yo, we got this. Squid's pumped up. He just got an ace. Squid's feeling like, yo, we can fuck these kids up. Easy. The Genesis kid wasn't really talking much. Um, like I said, I didn't really like him as a teammate. We dropped him after this match. It was literally... I've literally played, played this tournament with him, and that was the first time I ever did it. I was kind of trying him out for the competitive team, but he's not a good player. In my opinion, definitely not a good player. I'm deciding, you know what, let me go, same route as always, same route as always, man. Saw this kid middle, I was like, bet, let's take that, dude, that's 3v2 right now. All I gotta do is stay alive. Saw this kid on the corner of my eye, I was like, there we go, dude, now it's a 3v fucking 1. Challenging this kid, they were telling me, don't challenge, don't challenge, don't challenge, but I was thirsty for the kill, dude, I got bullets into him, he was weak, I knew where he was, and my team, I was like, go drop bomb, I'm gonna fucking get this kid. Like, I wanted this kill, dude, I was so thirsty for this uh, ace. And I luckily got it. That was it was a scary battle right there, but I got it. And look at that, guys. We just came back five five, close game. The kids were just making us look bad. We just came back and played smart, made them look bad. Stayed up. That's all it is: is staying up and playing as a team, communicating. We were talking a lot. I wish, I wish I got this game video live recorded where you guys can hear in game chat and stuff. But this is the best I could do: is break it down for you guys because I recorded it after the game. So we decided to change things up because we all went A every time. So I'm going to come middle and see if I can pick any off. Miss that shot. I'm not challenging that kid. If he has an IMR, dude, one burst, I'm fucking dead. So I decided not to challenge him. Stick together as a team. And if I got a kid top third, if you look at the mini map, one's looking that way, which means he's watching our top third. One's looking that way, which he's looking behind me. And I decided to watch down here just in case if any rush through middle and try and get my team. So I was just, we're just waiting, man. Playing it slow. This is the final round. They're probably playing it slow. We got to play it so they know that, man. They're thinking, we got to play it slow, dude. They got to come to us and play it. But it looks like one of them rushed us top there. We're, we're down, man. Two, three. We are down right now. And we got a job bomb with 40 seconds left. I got to make a move, dude. I got to do something. I saw him up there. Missed my shot. I was like, fuck. That blew my cover. Stunned. I got to get out of there. Squid, he ended up pushing up. I ended up watching the flank up here. And we knew. We knew we had to do something. They know where we are. We got to do make something happen. Got that kid. And then I knew. He was like, yo, drop bomb, drop bomb. I was like, all right, man, I'm weak. I'm weak. I was telling him I'm weak. And he told me he was behind him. Oh, that was... Now it's one left. 2v1. Now we're up. He gave me that call out. I saw him up there. I was like, Squid, if you guys can hear, he's shooting his gun. Just keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Because I told Squid... If he kills me while I'm planting this bomb, dude, we lost. Straight like that, it's over. The game's over. We lost if he kills me. 
Um, one of their teammates backed out because they didn't want to sit there and deal with it. Squid challenge because I don't know he was feeling aggressive, feeling good. I saw this kid. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow it, so I I didn't even jump up. I just pushed back, made sure I didn't see him up there. Didn't want to exo jump to blow my cover, anything like that. Just want to stay quiet and play it out slowly. Checked bomb. There he was trying to ninja defuse it. We ended up winning, man. We won the fucking tournament. Everyone's going crazy right now except Genesis because he's 2-8. and eight, Suck ass Genesis. And we were just all going crazy. Me and Squid are just like, let's go, baby. Let's go. And they ended up disbanding the lobby and stuff like that. So we end up losing connection to host. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up, man. If you guys liked how I did this, where we did a breakdown, uh, let me know in the comments because we could do this more in this little Going Pro series so that way you guys can see what I was thinking and we could break things down together as a team. Uh, but yeah, Exotic Chat is doing Twitter tournaments, you guys. They're doing Twitter tournaments every day. Um, tomorrow, they're actually today, they're going to have three tournaments going up. They're going to be doing two 2v2s and one 4v4. Um, so go check them out if you guys want to sign up for those tournaments. It should be pretty fun, man. I might attend. I might attend. T shit, I might even attend two of them. The, both two v twos, I might attend, or just one. I don't know yet. But if you guys want to play me, definitely hit up Exotic Chat because we're go we're gonna be doing tournaments all week, man, all week. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Don't forget, stay positive.